I'm adding some three quarter inch dog holes to a temporary uh, workbench top. Uh, this top is just sitting on top of my Samurai Carpenter saw stallions. Those are my saw horses that are too nice to be called saw horses, so I call them saw stallions. But anyway, I've just got those underneath here, and then I've got a piece of plywood, uh, actually two layers, on top of here. And it's, it's really anchored down to my saw horses, and it's a temporary workbench, but now I want to add some three-quarter inch uh, dog holes. As I was trying to use this uh, 90 degree device for drilling, I was having a little trouble because of the small base of stabilizing uh, my drill. Uh, it, it's not overly critical in this uh, situation. It struck me that I could take my base off of my router. This was a concept that uh, Jesse the Samurai uh, came up with for stabilizing your router and that has been a, a godsend and I'll link you to both uh, my video on building this as well as his video. All I did was simply mark out where I needed some attachment holes for this device, this 90 degree drilling device. Uh, the drill is separate from this little device. I'll put a link to this uh, down below in the description. So I just attached it to this. That gave me the ability to put some clamps on there and stabilize things really, really well. I, all right, so here I go. I'm going to give this a, a test and uh, see if I can get a nice uh, 90 degree hole. I know I got tear out down below. That's obviously going to happen on plywood when you plunge through like that, but that's all right. That's the underside, and I'm not worried about tear out in this case. That was my experiment. Let's see how we did here. Unclamp this puppy. <laughs> yeah, massive tear out. All right, that worked pretty cool.